Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different than what I normally do on my channel. As you guys have heard from um, my previous vlogs, I definitely want to start doing some fitness videos for you guys. I'm ready to bring some different content onto my channel. I've been working out a lot lately, as you guys know, and I've been eating healthier. Things have been going great. So I just wanted to share with you guys what keeps me motivated to go to the gym, to keep working out, just to stick with this lifestyle change. I'm one of those old school kids who has to write everything down. So I'm trying to find my little page. I had to write down what motivates me. So, so I'm going to talk with you guys about this today. Uh, excuse me. As you can see, I don't have any makeup on, just my brows. My hair is just crazy. And um, that's just because I want this to be a type of setting, just a chill setting for you guys. Um, this is what I normally look like when I go to work out. I don't wear makeup when I work out. Sometimes if I go like after I filmed a video, obviously, but I just don't like that extra stuff on my face when I'm sweating and stuff. So, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what motivates me to keep pushing? These are not in any particular order or anything. It's just what I wrote down, um, some random things at the time. So first off, the energy I get. Lord knows I need the extra energy. I'm one of those really sleepy, like just chill people. I just like to just to stay in and watch Netflix. And just to be comfy and chill. Like I'm one of those just chill people. You know, I need to get up and I need to get out more often. I need to enjoy this world. I need to experience life outside of watching Netflix and all that stuff. I know that sounds really bad, but it's true. Like I kind of just stay in my little bubble and I like it that way. But I need to just explore life a little bit more and it's definitely nice getting that extra energy from working out and eating better like that. There's nothing that feels better than to have that extra energy and to just be able to get up and because most days like there's so much I want to get done. I have a list of things I get done but I'm just like but Netflix is right there and I'm just so lazy right now but when I get up in the morning and I work out like I have the energy to get things done and that just makes life a whole lot better living in a clean environment and stuff like that. It's definitely something to keep you motivated. The feeling I get when my clothes are fitting so much looser, like, oh my gosh, that is one of the best feelings in the world. Like just to feel those pants, you know, loosen up the ones that you could barely button, the ones you could barely zip up. My shirt's becoming more baggy, the ones that I work out in, like seeing those little results like makes makes just keeps me motivated keeps me going because I know that there's changes happening so when that clothes is falling off that just keeps me pushing There's no greater feeling than those clothes falling off I told myself this is one thing I told myself in the beginning that I have like hair and it's like not coming off of my finger a. what is happening did I see that do you see that where is it oh it's on my ring oh no it's not it's like on my pinky where did you come from in the first okay anyways <laughs> so yeah and I told myself whenever I go to the mall and stuff I just pass by stores even though I want to go in them so bad and just buy a new shirt buy new pants get new everything like no one if you don't love shopping who are you I don't understand but I told myself unless my clothes are literally falling off my waist they just look way too baggy on me that I'm not going to buy any new clothes so the feeling of those clothes like just seeing the results of my clothes getting bigger on me and everything that makes it so much better and I feel really bad for TJ because he's going to have to take me on a shopping spree pretty soon because I don't really have clothes that fit me yet. no I'm kidding <laughs> so I'm definitely getting there I mean I'm not I still have a ways to go that's for sure so it's like a lot of stuff that I was wearing that was a little snug like is getting looser and fitting me a lot better So that's definitely a major benefit to me next thing feeling confidence I never felt so growing up. I was always the biggest sister. I was always the chubbiest sister That's the hard. That's one of the hardest things to go through because I mean for myself like growing up like I had an issue with and I still kind of do with the way people the way people look at me and like thinking I'm too fat, you know stuff like that like everybody has their insecurities and that was one of mine definitely is growing up like when we'd go to events and stuff like that I was always the chubbier sister even like some aunts and uncles would tell me girl you need to lose weight even when I wasn't even like big like I look back now and I was not big so really irritated me sometimes when like what kind of family would tell you that like I mean obviously it's not my immediate family but people would sit me down and say girl you are too big when I wasn't even that big 
like from the start. I played sports all my life and I was always working out, doing conditioning and stuff like that, but I was always just thicker. Like I stayed thicker, like I was busting my butt, sweating like crazy every single day. Like that was my life playing five different sports in high school. Like I was always busy, busy, busy with working out and stuff, but I still was just a little bit thicker. Um, I was probably like in the 130s and that's actually where I'm trying to get back to and I thought I was big back then. And now I look back, I mean, that's that's the story for all of us. We're always like, why did we think we're fat back then when we were not, we were not even close. I never really had that confidence just because I was always the chubbier sister, you know? And I don't know if any of you guys have ever, ever been, were ever in the same situation as me, but it's not a good feeling, you know? So with losing weight and everything, I hope that will definitely, I hope that'll, why do I say definitely? Like five thousand, every single sentence I say definitely. Like, and like, why do I do that? So I feel that losing this weight is going to boost my confidence up a lot uh, more than it, than where it's at now. Obviously, I love myself and I care about the way I look. I care about my health more than anything. And just feeling better in general is just going to boost that confidence if it's you know what I mean. Next thing, no back pain. Right now I'm feeling a little bit just because I ate a little bad over the weekend. But... When I was in high school, I injured my back pretty bad, and that back pain comes back every so often, especially when I eat a little bit too much and I have that extra weight on my tummy. Like, I always get that back pain. So, I definitely, I have not had it as much um, since I've been losing weight, I've noticed. And that's really weird to me, like, how do carbs and stuff, like, make my back hurt? That's really weird to me, but it's just my body. That's how it's been. When I have that little extra weight on my tummy, it just really irks my back. So, that's been cut out for sure. I used to have back pain all the time. Every time I'd sit down, anything, like, my back is just out of whack. Back 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 out of whack. Okay. It's reduced a ton since I've lost a little bit of weight. So I'm ready to have that completely gone. I know I know it'll never be like completely gone, but at least take away some of that pain. Depression, no depression. So going back to when I was young, like um, what, well, from what I felt like, I always felt like I was the chubbiest one and I was really insecure with my ball tee. Um, so I was like depressed mode all the time because I just never felt good about myself, especially as I gained the weight. You know, when I got married, I gained like, over a hundred I gained over a hundred pounds and that's just crazy to me but you know when you're married you're happy you finally got somebody to go eat with all the time so you don't really think about taking care of yourself when you first get married because you're just like I'm having fun like he loves me for who I am and he doesn't care like he he loves me for the way I look and that's one thing I love about my husband no matter what I look like no matter how much weight I gain no matter what color my hair like stuff like that like he always will love me he always will think I'm beautiful and I know for a fact it's that way um, but this is for myself and also to be healthy for him because if I'm not healthy like I can't take care of him the best that I want to you know what I mean my husband is like my everything my husband is my child like I don't have any kids he's like my baby so I need to be healthy for him I need to be healthy and take care of myself so I can take care of him I did definitely go through some depression and still do every so often um, just because of the way I look in the mirror, but that's another thing that comes with our own little insecurities about ourselves. I know a lot of people go through this, you know, you see all that stuff on social media, you see the shape of the woman on there now and everybody feels like they have to look a certain way. No, that's not true. That's not true. I mean, and you can live like that if you want to, but like I for a while was like I want to look like her I want to look like her you know feeling that way when it shouldn't be that way it's about how you feel inside of course the benefit is to look better to look it's there's nothing better than looking and feeling better but I don't want to like so it's just crazy how social media is nowadays like you have to look a certain way like people like you have to have those huge curves and big old fake booties like stuff like the things that people are doing just to look a certain way like that is not right depression has been there you know for quite some time in my life it's not as bad anymore it's just, you know when we're in high school and stuff it's the same thing you feel like you have to look a certain way you feel like you have to be a certain person um so i most of my depression was in high school getting healthy and you know taking care of myself 
really does take that away and it keeps me motivated because I want to feel better. I want to look better in the mirror. Like that's the results to me. When I look in the mirror and I see that I'm slimming down and I see that all that hard work that I'm putting in the gym is working, like that definitely motivates me a ton, a ton. Another thing that motivates me, healthy food makes you feel so good. It's so true, you guys. Like cutting out the carbs for sure and just having like vegetables and meat and some fruits, you know, not doing too much on the fruits because, you know, some of them have a lot of sugar in them. But it honestly makes me feel so good. Like it gives me that energy and it makes me push harder in my workout. And going back to seeing results in the mirror, that's my next thing here. Um, that That's one of the major things that does motivate me for sure is seeing those results in the mirror. After that hard worker workout, I go and I look at myself and I see every single morning. It's crazy. Like, I mean, some days you're going to feel more bloated. You're going to feel just like, Ugh, you know, you're just going to feel like blah. But that's normal, you know, especially with us women. We hold on to a lot of water weight. So some days you just feel like bloated and yucky. Some foods you eat just make you more bloated than others. It's all a learning process and learning what works for you. Everybody's body is different. Some things that p other people do is not going to work the same for you. So that's one of the main things for me is just seeing my results in the mirror. It's just like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to keep up with this. Like I'm going to keep on going because obviously things are changing. It's working. Whatever I'm doing, it's working. And that motivates me so much. That's one of the key, that's one of the main things that motivate me is seeing those results happen and it just keeps you pushing. And obviously every day isn't going to be a good day. But as long as you stay consist consistent and you keep on pushing, you will get there. And lifestyle change, it's a never-ending thing. Once I do get down to the weight that I want to be at, I'm not going to stop eating healthier. Like, this isn't just a phase. This is... I love... I'm such a foodie. I love my cheese. I love my Italian food. I love everything. Like, I love all the fatty food. Why am I so addicted to fatty food? From the way I'm feeling and from the changes that I'm seeing in the mirror... Like, nothing beats that. Like, no fatty food is gonna make me feel better than being healthy does. Another thing that motivates me, other people seeing your results. So, people commenting and saying, dang girl, you look good! Getting that comment, like, girl, you look, you're looking so good, what are you, like, that's what, I know it doesn't really matter what people feel and all that stuff, but that's all positive stuff when it's positive comments like I'll I will take them all give them all to me so when I get those little comments it keeps it gets me even more motivated because I'm like people are noticing that means you're doing something right that means you're doing something right so keep on going girl and my next thing is inspiring others to get healthy so you never know who's watching you you never know who's like going through the same thing that you used to go through, you know, being, being depressed because you can't fit into certain clothes, being depressed because you can't wear the style, you can't dress in the style that you've always wanted to because you just don't feel comfortable, you don't feel right, and you just feel like you don't look good. And this is all that's in our own minds. This isn't what other people see. Some people can see that, but that's their issue. It's because they have issues with themselves. It's not you, it's them. So, don't ever take comments to heart about people saying you're oh you're fat oh you're this you're that because they're the ones that are insecure with themselves so they have to make somebody else feel bad so just you never know who's watching you so just keep on pushing because you could inspire so many people like I don't know how many people I follow on Instagram that like are still doing it are still pushing and it's like dang if I would have kept up that whole time like I started the same time as them if I would have kept up I would have been where they're at right now but it's okay because it's all trial and error, you know, we, I've been through this so many times, it's not even funny. Like, how many times I've tried to lose weight, I fall off, I get back on, but the main thing, the main thing is, I, I never quit, I never give up, I always jump right back on it. It's not like I completely give up and just let myself go. No, that's never happened, it's been a daily battle that I have with myself, losing weight, and it's not just me, I know so many other people that are going through the same thing that I am. And them seeing me keep pushing, I feel like that is one thing that definitely motivates me too because I want to motivate others. I want to inspire others and stuff like I want to get those comments saying, girl, you inspired me to get to the gym. I see that you worked out, so I'm going to go push myself. I see that 
you're eating this way and I want to eat this way so I can look like that too. Like, think about all those people that you're inspiring that some people don't even comment or say anything, but they're doing it because they've been inspired by you somehow. So um, just me helping others, like that's one of the main things I like to do. You know, my whole channel, for instance, like I want to inspire you guys and I want to make you guys feel beautiful and happy because you all should feel that way. That's the whole reason why I started my channel is because I was still learning with makeup too. I learned it all from YouTube and I wanted to teach you guys what I know at least so I can help in a way, especially because there's not many Polynesian YouTubers out there. I know there's so many Polynesian girls that want to know all this stuff. Like I feel like you feel more connected to the YouTuber when there's someone like yourself and they're being themselves. Just, you know, like I said, you never know when you're motivating or inspiring someone. So just keep on pushing, motivating me to post more on YouTube. So, um, YouTube, obviously it's a hobby to me. I love this stuff. I love getting behind the camera, making you guys laugh, making you guys smile, teaching you guys some things. Um, as far as makeup goes and um, doing vlogs just showing you guys my life like that I love doing that stuff for you guys and I it's personally makes me super happy because it's a hobby for me um, growing up my hobby was always sports and um, or music like I love singing and stuff like that but now this is it this is it for me because I'm so busy with work and stuff I can't go out and play sports I can't do this and that so this is something I love doing I I'm so happy that I ventured into doing YouTube um, but me losing weight and stuff I feel like that's gonna motivate me to post more on YouTube because I can do more fitness stuff on here too um, it gets me energized to get up and do a video makeup tutorial just film a video for you guys because I actually have energy I'm not sitting around eating a pizza watching Netflix all day and saying ah I don't feel like doing one today. Maybe next week. Like, no, we're not going to do that. So I feel like losing weight will definitely motivate me more to post more on YouTube. So as far as the fitness size goes too, I'm excited to do more fitness videos for you guys. Also, it's going to give me the confidence to be myself. So many people look at other people and there's a difference between being inspired and wanting to be that person, being jealous of that person, stuff like that. Total difference. But I feel like losing weight is going to motivate me to be myself more, like show you guys myself more and be more confident in myself because I'm a crazy person. Like if you know me outside of YouTube, like I'm funny. I always try to joke with people. I know sometimes that's lame, but I try to be sarcastic and weird and crazy, especially around my sisters. If you guys are around me when I'm around my sisters, I'm totally myself. Sometimes when I'm outside of um, my comfort zone and stuff and hanging out with people I don't really know. I tend to be more quiet because I just don't know what to say and some people I just don't have really anything in common with. Because when you get older, get out of high school and stuff, it's totally different. Like, you know in high school I basically hung out with everybody. But now that I'm married um, and older, you know, I tend to like to be alone more just because I want to be focused on my family and of course it's nice to hang out with people. I love hanging out with people, but um, I like to be around people that are on the same level as me not that I'm on a high level or anything but you know that have the same goals have the same mindset and all that stuff I they keep you motivated and keep you pushing in life you don't want to be around negative people because that's just gonna bring you down and that's a waste of your time like you're only getting older so why waste your time you know what I mean because I'm feeling better about myself I can show you guys more of myself I can be my more myself out in public um, and be more confident in my self in my true self saving money and eating at home yes there's so many places out there so much fast food restaurants but when I, it's crazy because now when I go to fast food restaurants it's like or fast food places it's like what the heck do I order because everything is like crap and I'm being more mindful of what I'm putting in my body um, because I notice like certain things I put in my body, how it makes me feel and how it makes me feel so much better. What makes me feel bad? What makes me feel bloated? What makes me feel gross? I feel like it eating healthy keeps you eating at home because you want to you want to know what's you want to see every ingredient that's you're feeding your body. When you're eating at home, saving money in general, um, that motivates me because nothing's like building up that savings, paying off stuff. 
you know, instead of going out to eat all the time, eating all that bad crap, which is not really doing anything for you, you can save money and put it towards something else. Put it towards a vacation for after you lose like 60 pounds or 80 pounds. Like put it towards your goals, your little goals that you have for yourself for when you're losing weight. Buy yourself that new purse, buy yourself those new shoes, buy yourself a puppy, buy yourself something, I don't know. Also what motivates me is having a routine. My day goes so much better when I have that routine in place where I go to the gym, come home, eat my healthy breakfast, get ready for work, actually have time, actually have time, sorry I have like these dust bunnies flying everywhere. Actually having time to put my face together and not go to work with like half an eyebrow on and no makeup or hair or all doing nothing. Actually have time to take care of myself in the morning and get stuff done before work. Um, having that routine definitely changes everything. I get up early. I'm not like so sleepy going to work. No energy at work. I have energy and it dies off about 8 o'clock because I, I go to the gym at like 4.30 in the morning so I get pretty tired. I'm pretty like exhausted by then <laughs> but at least it gets me energy to go through get through my day so that motivates me a ton. Working out keeps you positive it keeps you thinking positive so that motivates me because I don't want to have a negative mindset I don't want to be mad or get offended by every little thing that someone says to you or just be in a negative mindset overall like I don't want that. It keeps you positive and thinking about life and how much you can achieve and you know the future stuff like that like it just keeps your brain positive because you're already like got my workout done got my healthy meal like it just keeps you going positive thinking positive and um, that's one thing you know that you got to live your life like that because you can't live miserable in a negative mindset I have some people that come into my workplace that are just miserable people and I feel so bad and they treat everybody like crap like they just step on every single person that they see in their life and that's horrible like I don't want to be that person so I feel like working out and stuff that motivates me to keep myself um, in a routine so I routine so I stay positive so I have a positive mindset I always feel so much better in general life when I work out and, and eat right and all that stuff because I'm just I'm just feeling so much better in general you know my last thing and most important thing that motivates me to keep on pushing with my working out and eating healthy is when that zombie apocalypse happens and it will I will be fit I'll be in shape to run away I'll be one of the last survivors on earth just kidding just kidding just thought I'd be a little funny but yeah that's mostly everything that motivates me and keeps me going with this weight loss and this lifestyle change so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Other than that, you guys will definitely be seeing more fitness videos from me. I still got so much room to grow with this weight loss. So I hope that motivated you guys and inspired you guys to keep on pushing too. If you guys are on that weight loss train, there's so many of us. And we all got this. That will conclude my what motivates me slash inspires me on this weight loss journey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a healthy week and we will talk to you guys later girl i need to brush my hair